but before it ends, it goes to black, and then what? you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm I know. I'm so unhappy. Oh, Nobody's, <laughs> happy. Nobody's, Nobody's happy. happy. Nobody's, Nobody's happy. happy. <laughs> no one. Oh, hi there. Hi, welcome <laughs> to Perception Check, where nobody's happy. <laughs> Nobody knows the happiness I haven't seen. <laughs> hey, TKH, thank you. It's the shirt I wear every day. I just don't have a sweater on top of it. You don't have a sweater? Oh, oh you finally Ooh, took that sweater off. Really... <laughs> so somehow you took clothes off and you got more formal. Interesting. That's right. <laughs> don't congratulate him. He's still wearing the same shirt. It probably still smells the same, except now it's on the outside. <laughs> yeah, it smelled dope. So it's going to smell worse. He didn't change clothes. He just took an article off. Yeah. So now it's going to let the smell up. out instead of keeping it in with the sweater. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? That shirt was sitting low. It was weird. I had to fix my oh. collar. There we go. That's well, hi, everybody. Weird. Welcome to Wednesday Night Perception Check. And I am not Ryan, I'm, but I'm your DM Thank for goodness. tonight. I'm <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> the madness? Like, I'm just loud today. <laughs> Yeah, you are. You are. We're all loud. Well, then yeah. let's uh, start going down the line and read off your characters and who you're playing tonight. Mm. Go with you, Cucumber. Brian. Oh, me. No, she said me. Shut up. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Cucumber. <laughs> I'm playing Brata. Yeah, she doesn't like to go in order. I'm a, I'm a Leonin fighter, level five, but I also have psionics because meow, meow, wop, wop. <laughs> and I'm Chunk. And I'm playing Thruff Root. I'm uh, what the hell am I? I'm a high elf paladin. I have no idea how to play that kind of character. <laughs> but thank goodness for uh, for D and D Beyond, which just lets me do things. We should get smart. Yeah. It just D &D tells D &D you what to do. Yeah, we should. We yeah. should. Thanks, D and D Beyond. Very nice. All right, Brian. Yeah, I'm Brian. I'm playing uh, Cole Raw. And uh, what am I? A dwarf warlock five. Thank you, D and D Beyond. <laughs> And I'm Corey. I'm Hi, Corey. Yeah. He, he's a Minotaur bard, level five. Nice. Wait, nice. you're playing a dude? Huh? Did you say he? Hey. She? Oh, it sounded like She's you said a he. Bard. Oh, it sounded like you said he. She. Yeah, I heard that. Quick shout out to our fabulous sponsors. We've got Norse Foundry. Use right code there. Perception Check uh, at checkout for fifteen percent off of your order. Uh, and they're uh, they're going to be working on some custom dice for us in the new year. They're a little bogged down with all the holiday stuff, but they've been wonderful. They sponsored our other show, uh, uh, Fate Frontiers, earlier today, and they're they're going to give away some Fate dice for that. Uh, and thank you, Wormwood. Thank you, Wormwood. Ah! Ah! Thank you. Ah! Uh, yeah. That's warm wood. We, we do love their stuff. Uh, Why'd you shake it? Currently, our, our free shipping code is inactive. I think it's also because of holidays, uh, but we'll double check. And uh, yeah, if we hit, uh, was, 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 uh, I don't know. Never mind. 200. 200. We'll give away a $50 gift card to, to, to Wormwood. 200? 200. It's getting uh, better every stream. That's right, Gert. <laughs> And then wait, wait, uh, we'll change it up. Also, thank you to Level Up Dice. If you use your, if you use their link to uh, to go shopping, uh, or even to browse, that helps us out. It's going to earn our way towards getting some free dice to give away to all of you guys. They do wonderful luxury stuff. They're beautiful. Check out the Opalite. It's a great time. Uh, so yeah, thank you, thank you to our sponsors for for believing in us. Yay, no one else does. does. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's happy. <laughs> 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 and on that note, let's uh, recap from last week. Uh, Shall we talk about how people can interact with the show, Connie? First, yeah, we, yes, that is correct, Cucumber. Let us see that go. first. <laughs> You guys can interact with our show tonight by doing uh, Winter's Blessings, which are $5. So you can grant a Winter's Blessing to any one of our players up there, which gives them a D6 to any of their rolls. And it saves them from me having to re-roll one of their good rolls with my DM rerolls. And then for $10, we have regular rerolls that you can add to the pool of rerolls for all of our characters that they can pull from at any time, or you can assign a reroll to a specific character. 
And then for $15, we have uh, the DM rerolls, where I can force my players to reroll their good rolls for something. Can't force me to do anything. (laughs) Not yet, anyways. (laughs) And then for $25, you guys can drop in a character, uh, add a little bit of story, and I will work it in. And then for $50, DM powers for a player of your choice, and they get one minute of (laughs) DM powers. Oh, what the hell was that? I've never heard you sneeze, ever. That's not... How do you sneeze? You don't have a nose. Seasonal allergies. Or you sneeze through his mouth. (laughs) How do you talk? You have no tact. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. That's fair. (laughs) Fair enough. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and those are our incentives and interactions for tonight. How you guys can interact with our story and our D and D campaign tonight. You good? We haven't even I started guess. yet. <laughs> Nobody's happy. <laughs> Why are my shoulders oh, so low? <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with you? DM powers to Ryan. Backseat DM. DM powers. <laughs> I mean, he's here. He's here, so I, mean, I guess yeah. yeah. Why not? He's here, yeah. <laughs> if you if you want to waste your money like that, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna stop it? That's true. I mean, no one's gonna here. stop. Him. We'll make him. We'll make him. We'll make I'm gonna him do the cucumber lean right now. Are, are we still having Ryan's song at three hundred from yes. the Veil yes. Beyond? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. So two hundred dollars is the Wormwood giveaway, <laughs> no. and then three hundred dollars is the Ryan Bard song from the uh, Icy Void. <laughs> Hey, Nicotolo. He says, I don't know what I walked into, but I love it. Yeah. Welcome. Nicotolo. Yeah, same for me. Yeah. Well, Tag with that, let's do a recap of last time on Perception Check. Okay, thank you. It's a far north tundra Icewind Dale. The deity Oriole is responsible for blocking out the sun and keeping the local in a perpetual frozen winter uh, for over two years. The civilization of ten towns is suffering through this. We open in the busy borough of uh, Brinshander, an inn named the Bobbeline Cauldron, where we meet our heroes. Nimia, the Minotaur Bard, Bratta, a Leonin fighter, Thrufro, a high elf paladin, and yeah. Kolrach, a dwarf Warlock. Yeah. Nimia is playing music as the rest of the party are eating. Suddenly, Elva bursts in and starts singing her hit song, Give It Up, before she is promptly escorted out of the inn. A group of dwarfs then enter, having just been attacked by a yeti. The dwarves are looking to hire some folks to retrieve their ingots stolen from the attack, and the party accepts. As the gang is heading out, they pass Elva, and Brata chucks a rock at her, knocking her out. But once out of the town, they encountered Hermie, the little elf, a wannabe dentist that asks to join them. The party travels for hours until they push through the weather and eventually find the dwarves' sled. Brata spots a trap that's been set but fails to disarm it, and it goes off near Thoreau, but he is avoided. Uh, They inspect the sled, and while they don't find the ingots, they do find null tracks leading away. Following the tracks, they see two gnolls carrying a large, heavy crate. Brata lets loose an arrow at them, and the fight ensues. Uh-huh. Our heroes split between the gnolls with Brata, Her- Hermie, and Kolra, fighting one before Nimia slays uh, it with vicious mockery. Uh, do, do, while the others are incapa- while the other is incapacitated uh, with Nimia's use of hideous laughter, then Thoreau ties it up. Nimia opens the crate to find the ingots in uh, that they're after. Meanwhile, Kolra stops the gnolls by laughing by covering its mouth with mage hand. But when Thoreau pulls his hand away to question it, it lets out a howl and a horn from far away blares and signals two polar bears to come charging their way. Most of the party immediately charges towards and forward and attacks the polar bears. Thoreau tries to defuse the situation yeah. with talk. This doesn't work and he narrowly avoids an attack. Brata kills the first bear, leaving its corpse bleeding out into the snow. No. A symbol that looks awfully a lot like the Coca-Cola logo. Mm-hmm. Thoreau reluctantly joins in on the fight on the second bear, but vomits when he hurts it. <gasps> Kolra succeeds in killing the second bear, giving the teeth to Hermie. The party uses the bear's fur for warmth mm-hmm. and for meat for food as they set up camp for the night. Uh, 
throw cries at like a little baby over the violence that they've <laughs> engaged in as Nimia tries to calm oh, him me. with some music before they all go to sleep in shifts, <laughs> preparing to head back to the town when the sunless morning arrives. Dun dun dun. Wee, wee. Uh, wee, wee. Hey, Ryan. Oh, wee, wee. Clarify wee, wee. for us. Top right. is and bottom is numbers wise. Bless. Blessings on top. Reroll. Blessings up top. Remember, oh, yeah. remember when he said he was going to make it pretty this week? Oh. Dunk show. Holy shit. How's it going, buddy? Yay. Dunk. Thanks for it. Dunk. Yay. 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 <laughs> 32 We're months in a about- row. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of months in a row. That? <laughs> a lot of months. That's like a a lot of I, months. I don't disagree with you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, anyway, our story. Our, our, can you hear him groan on my microphone? Because I can hear him yes. groan in person. <laughs> what? <laughs> that kind of no, not like that. That's a moan, Corey. That's a that's moan. That kind of groan. That's the kind of groan. <laughs> yeah, he grabbed the pleasure musket off the wall in the game. <laughs> it's not even finished yet. I know. That's he what's just impressive. Went to town. <laughs> Yep. As you all begin to come to consciousness, uh, Kolvra, you're still awake because you took the last shift. So uh, you see Whoa! this guy become a little bit of a little Derek, the preppy jock who's challenging folks to a ski race. <laughs> <laughs> Derek. <laughs> all right, preppy ski jock. Sounds all right. Very Derek. He'll, uh, he'll show up in just a second. Is that like a la, like, uh, like Johnny Tsunami? Like those, like, ski kids? Like what did you just say? I think what? so. Like Johnny Tsunami, Johnny tsunami. though. Like, what are you talking about? Wait, What's Johnny, Johnny Tsunami? What's Johnny Tsunami? I, I know. Johnny knows. Yeah, I know. I, I guess we never problem. get to fucking find out. <laughs> yeah, thanks. No, I don't have oh, problem. Problem. Oh, I don't happening. No one! Order! Order in the court. I don't know what that means. Johnny Tsunami is an old Disney original movie about a kid who, uh, oh, rich kid TV. Got it. Well, yeah, it's also not that to, old. That had to move to, <laughs> uh, like, Utah or something. So he joined, he did, like, skateboarding, and then there was, like, the skiing. Like, so there was, like, like issues. I have a question. Yeah, like, he translated have- his surfing skills into snowboarding skills, yeah. and he learned to hmm. adapt. Yes. And so how, there we how, go. how is this important to the game, Corey? 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 Colony? Derek, the preppy because... jock who's challenging folks to a ski race, like in Johnny Tsunami, the uh... preppy skiers. I have another like... question. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. yes. And I have another question. In relation to Johnny Tsunami, what's your definition of old? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I enough. watched it as a child. Enough. You want to you wanna stay in your box, dude? Let me see if I can get one eye out. Oh my god. <laughs> What's you on the other side, in. Brian? What's Brian, on the other side? Oh, god, oh, Adam, this is <laughs> Go, back, go, go back. to the edge again. Go to the edge. Ah! Oh no! Ah! You don't know where the edge is! It's got an edge of the <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, Connie. Connie. I'm sorry, Connie. <laughs> Oh my I'm God. mostly sorry, Connie. <laughs> yeah, that, that's fine, because as you all come you to conscious, like you hear a Shut crunching up. sound. <gasps> yeah, crunchy Anybody want to make a uh, perception check? I'll do it. Oh, I'll do it. No. Yeah, I'll do it. You said the name! <laughs> I rolled... Oh, I rolled a six. I rolled Throw, a 14. 14, 14. I got, I got an eight. Throw, Nimia, Colra, what'd you get? Working on it. Uh, 16. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So, Brata and Cole, uh, you actually you hear this noise and you turn and look. Uh oh. Character, Thank you. Uh, Anne, Elva's sister, who's looking for the person who threw the rock at her sister shit. She uh, also doubles as the good looking nerd stereotype in movies. <laughs> All right. Well, it was yes. Annie. It's Annie. Oh my god, yeah. perfect. Well, Anne, Anne. Anne, Anne, Anne. Anne. Okay. Uh, 
So, uh, Kolra and Brata, you hear this kind of crunching noise that doesn't belong, and as you turn your head to the side, you see the polar bears munching yes. on, or, uh, I'm sorry, you. you see a yeti munching Ooh. on the dead carcasses of the polar bear. He's not attacking, he's just... We definitely should have known better than just to leave dead carcasses out overnight. I thought we chopped them up. I took the no, skin. we took the skin. Oh, I just took the skin. <laughs> yeah, well, took the, the skin and you took some of the meat, but I mean, you didn't completely pick it clean yeah. and just any sort of meat. A lot of the fauna have been very starved because of Oriole's uh, perpetual mm. night. So a lot of the wildlife wow. are starving. So any and, sort of meat, they'll just. <laughs> and only Cobra says sees this, right? Kolra and Barata see this. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got antlers now. I'm still meditating. There are creatures eating the other creatures that we killed. I forgot my accent. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Russia? I for real. There is stuff over there that what he said is accurate. I see it too. Should we leave them be? (laughs) <laughs> we we should probably leave him alone. Right, so you guys are gonna try and pack up your stuff uh, yeah, just, and take the crate with you. Quiet, oh, yeah, quietly, quietly as much as we can. Mm-hmm. Stealth check Stealth for everyone, much. please. Oh goody! Oh Those yay! It's rough oh, here. I got an uh, eight. I'm gonna use my blessing. Okay. What's the blessing do? You can add uh, a D six to anything. That's right. Damage, mm-hmm. what have you? Uh, that is now. Uh, that is now. Uh, 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 Thirteen. Okay. I have a question. Yes. Okay. If I have a disadvantage on a roll, uh-huh. and then I use a re-roll, do I have to roll twice again, or do I just roll once more? Just roll once more. Okay, I'm gonna use my re-roll. Okay. Because I rolled a two. Because I'm wearing chain armor, so I have the disadvantage right now. Disadvantage, that's right, uh, Paladin. <laughs> you playing the rules. Look at you. Wow. That's because that's, that's Connie. I know she won't try to kill me like Ryan. I have to, I have to break the rules. <laughs> He's mooning uh, over here in the corner. I'm afraid to look. <laughs> what? Uh, I still rolled the two. That didn't help. What? Oh, yeah. no. Reroll it, Chunk. Uh, mm-hmm. TKH, the antler okay. Brian is a thing you can use your channel points to do to your emotes. I forget Ooh. how, but it's oh. a 13. I got a 13. Cool. Two 13s. Colra, what'd you get? Huh? What'd you get for your stealth check? Oh, 11. 11! Nimia. And I got a 16. Perfect. You guys all managed to very slowly pack up your campsite and to get the iron ingots and to slowly make your way. The Yeti is just too involved in this meat. This is probably the first actual like meal he's seen in a long time. So he's just going at it. So he's not paying any attention to you guys. So you guys make it. Uh, You pack up your stuff and you start making your way around the hill back uh, the same way that you came. But since the Mm -hmm. snow has fallen, the trail is halfway full. So you're going to have to reforge it a little bit. Who's taking lead on this? I'll do it. I'll start using my big old paws to start clearing the way and flattening stuff down. All right. And then who is uh, taking the iron, uh, the box, the heavy crate of iron ingots? Me. Uh, Yeah. Okay, so Colra, you're taking the box, and uh, let's just fill out the rest of the marching order. So Barata is first. Who wants to go second? Uh, I'll be second with my my pike. Okay, throw second, third. Colra, do you want to go third? So then I can be behind you just in case, like, if you start slipping with the box or whatever, I can help you. And, like, so you're not watching your back? Brian? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I'm changing my emotes. 
shouldn't have told shouldn't have told me how to do it. It's fun. You can do that, Corey. So Nimia will uh, follow up the rear, and Cole Ra will be third position. So he won't yeah, be take on the rear. The yeah, I'm I'm That's... keeping a lookout. Like that's behind. right, Lucario. That's right. Perfect. He says, he says we're both blue, so we're cool. Nice. Oh, okay. So uh, you guys are marching down the hill, and you guys are coming back up on the same spot where you found the broken sled, as well as the sack full with snow as kind of like the bait. Bye, Candace. Um, Bye, Candace. The and ice. Can Bye. This is in the chat. Bye, Candace. Candace. No Candace. 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 Sand Candace. Ice? Candace. Mm-hmm. This is important. Come here, let me slap Candace. you. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a thing. Anyways, Don't worry about so it. So you guys are walking through at the same spot where you had seen the sled and the trap and the sack. And as yeah. you kind of make uh -huh. your way through the trees, you uh, Nimia behind over on that hill that you uh, rounded as you were coming back around. You hear a... And two tiny goblins, <laughs> two goblins <laughs> hop down from the hill and shoot at you guys with uh, short bows. So they get a surprise oh. attack. Yeah. But we were watching. And that's a nine to hit, so that one misses. Uh -huh. Second one is a four. Both of them miss in their Xena oh, cry. Idiot out from the hill and land and try and take two shots at you but now that they've done their call you see four more goblins pop out from behind the trees and two drop down from the side let's all roll initiative uh oh <laughs> yeah. oh shit I'm gonna roll real die for this one three Ooh. oh no oh yeah 19 don't, and don't forget our character droppies too Nineteen, Nimia, what you got? This face. I also got nineteen. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I right, cool. Higher Dex. <laughs> Dex, I have fourteen plus two. Thoreau, what's your dexterity? Uh, 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 zero. <laughs> nope, ten. Wait, my modifier or my actual design? Uh, either. Ten. Yeah, so Nimia, you go first. Uh, and then Colra, what did you get? A three. A three. A three two. Oh you guys are matching two threes That's and weird. two 19s. Uh, Colra, what's your dexterity? 12. Brata? 15. Brata goes first, and then Colra goes oh, after. We got another character. Hold on. Oh, oh. oh no. This oh, one didn't show up. Uh, so Nickel Tubo, thank you very much for your donation. The twenty-five dollar uh, slot allows you to create a character of your own description to throw into our game. We've got two upcoming yeah. currently, uh, so you can add to that. Or if you'd like, you can break that down into five blessings and spread them across the players, or, or put them in the pool, uh, or a DM reroll and a reroll, or two rerolls and a blessing. You get it. You can math. Uh, you got this. <laughs> yeah. Let us know what you want to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cucumber. What happened to Juice Box? Yeah, they, they're asking about oh, Juice Oh, yeah, box. sorry. I'll, uh, so Juice Box will be back probably tonight or tomorrow. Uh, I, I moved uh, me back to the Tier 3 but because I wanted the Ooh. Juice Box to be more accessible. So the Juice Box will be in with uh, kind of where, where Christmas Brian is now. We're going to be adding more emotes th over the next couple weeks. Yeah. So keep an eye out yeah. for him. Juice Box will be back very soon. Actually, fuck it. I could probably do it right now. <laughs> no, you're fighting you're right now. Ah, to ah, you're in the middle or something. All right. So, uh, after that surprise first round, you don't bark, you're a lion. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Oh, there you go. Wait, you can't meow, meow too many times. You might summon Ryan. Ryan! <laughs> That's my battle Ryan. cry. Perfect. Ryan. All right, so first up is Nimia. Me? You are oh, surrounded no. by goblins. You have four of them in front, and then you have two that just came leaping off of the hill that you just came came around. God damn it. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah, we're gonna do... Um, hmm. um. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do dissonant whispers, like the biggest one. The biggest one that I think, like... The biggest one. The biggest guy. They're all <laughs> roughly the same. Thank you for They're clarifying. 
kind of just all okay, goblin. Okay, so one of, the, one of the two behind me then, I'll use dissonant whispers on them. They have to make a wisdom save. Uh, they have to beat a 14. Uh, they gotta beat a 14? Yes. Oh, they beat it. They got a natural 19. Ooh. Okay, a fail save. Let's see if it doesn't move. Let's see. On a successful save, the target takes half as much damage and doesn't have to move away. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah. half damage for this one. Yeah. yeah. So no. I rolled 11. So 11. 11. 11. Um, 11. Also, <laughs> who's our heavy hitter in this group? Me. I think. Okay. So far. So I'm far, so good. Gonna, I'm going to cast, um, give um, you Bardic Inspiration. Bring. Oh, thanks. So you, have that, you have that. So I was a bard a last D- time and I'd never used it. <laughs> you get <laughs> you uh so you get a D eight. Um you can add it to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. A D8? You can add it after seeing the roll but before knowing the outcome. Yes. Oh a D8. nice. Okay, okay. And then that was five points of psychic damage? Uh yes. Let me okay. I will double check the yeah, I think so. Uh, Perfect. psychic. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Thruff, oh. you are up. Real quick, uh, Nicodula has defined the character that they dropped, so get a pen ready. Uh, okay. eight foot tall Goliath wizard covered in fur pelts that has a spell book that talks to him and everyone sarcastically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. First time here oh, already it. gets us. Sarcastic. Sarcastic spell book. There we go. Or well, he's a Goliath wizard with a spell book. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Goliath oh, wizard. I mean, Eight foot tall Goliath has, wizard. Look. Covered in fur pelts. With a spell book. book. With a spell book. With a spell book. Spell book. With a spell book. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, Thoreau, you're up. Um, <laughs> it's Thruff. Thruff. I keep saying it wrong. Yeah, <laughs> you do. Yep. Sure do. Um, <laughs> Uh shoot. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to the to the smallest of the goblins and, and try to attack him twice with my my pack. I'm gonna go shoot him. Okay, attack him twice. I'll say the nearest one. He kind of looks pretty scraggly. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Once. Nineteen. I feel real bad about it though. Oh no. Nineteen and seven. Nineteen hits. The seven does not. And that's um, two points of damage, because I whipped out about it. I was, I was like, "Yeah, oh. eh, no!" You pulled your punches. I oh. want to hurt the little dude. Are you stabbing him with a dagger, or what's your weapon? My pike. You're oh, so you're trying to stab him at a distance, so you kind of like skim one of his cheeks. So now he's starting to bleed from the cheek. I'm so bit. sorry. <laughs> and now the goblins go. You came at me though. Oh, good. I was worried they were gonna hurt us. Bye, goblin. All right. <laughs> Nobody has lower than ten AC, correct? Right. No, no, ma'am. Okay. Cool. They they all try and like attack you with their scimitars, and then you guys dodge them. Uh, none of them land a hit until you hear <clears throat> in. Off in the distance, you see this shadowy, large, shadowy, rectangular figure moving kind of from uh, right over towards center. And you notice that it's actually a wagon pulled, uh, being pulled by two uh-huh. horses. And then you hear a, a gruff voice let out, Give them hell, boys! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, like that. It's specifically Menu Guy from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, that guy. Okay. Yeah. Will me? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab my battle axe in two hands, and I'm gonna go charge the nearest goblin. All right, there's one right in front of you. Go for it. All right, first first attack is gonna be a twelve to hit. Does not hit. Second attack is gonna be a twenty-one to hit. That does hit. And I'm using two hands, so I'm gonna... Oh, fuck yeah! 12 damage. <laughs> 12 damage. What weapon are you using? Uh, my battle axe with both hands. 
So as as you raise your battle axe with your two hands and you come ah! down with all your lion ah! might, you cleave this goblin in half and it gets stuck ha- about halfway through its body, but like the top half starts to split apart. Oh, it oh, is no. dead. Uh, as like, a bonus oh, action. Okay. Oh, sorry, go for it. Bonus action? Yes. I have a daunting roar. That is replenished since I rest. So, uh. What's that do? Goes, yeah, how, ma- how many of the goblins yeah. are within 10 yeah. feet of me? One and. Two. And three. Two. And Technically and two. Yeah. Two. Okay. Two. okay. So. Uh, I, I'm uh, a. And uh, they have to make a, a wisdom saving throw. Ooh, grr. All right. A uh, natural 18. Boo. <laughs> Both of them? Both they need of to them? not be rolling so high. <laughs> uh, wow, two 18s in a row. <laughs> these, uh, these goblins are so weathered by having to live out here by the skin of their the teeth and trying to survive that they they just aren't intimidated by this roar. They've heard Yeti's roar and they, this doesn't scare them. <laughs> it, it, you, really, you it really hits me in my ego when they don't yeah. react. Like, <laughs> and then <the>, oh. <laughs> I'll lean over and go, dude, you, you like underperformed a little there. Yeah, I know. Like, hey, you man, go, games, right thank you for that oh, re-roll. Nice Give me a, uh, re-roll. Right. So can you, can you step it up a little bit? All right. So, Bratta, is that all your actions? Oh, yeah. Your that's all my actions. I'm going to stay right here. No, I don't. I, no, I took my hoobity hoo off. Oh, okay. All right. Kolra, you are up. What are you doing? Where are the goblins at now? Uh, you have one goblin right in front of you, and then there's another one uh, just to the left of you that uh, th- uh, Thruff is uh, stabbing with a pike, or trying to. That's it? Aren't there more? Well, there's two further in the... Oh, oh yeah. that's right. You're in the back of the line. There's, there's two goblins in the back, and then there's the one that... Um, Thruff is dealing with the one that Barata killed, and then there's two in in the front of the line. We had a hundred, so it's probably time to do a song. And also, don't forget about the characters that people drop. Anyway, yeah. Do we just want to do a straight up drinking song game? Let's try it. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh God. All right, Brian, we're gonna start with you. We're gonna go do- go down the line. Wait. So how, how does it work? Okay, so it's yeah. gonna be. Why I'll be rhyming with Brian. Uh, Corey, you'll be. Ooh, that looks nice. Ooh, nice. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Diddly damn. You guys, nice. Ryan's not useless after all. Yes. <laughs> Christmas miracle. I'm so proud of you. Uh, These are a little big, though. Oh, yeah. So, Corey, you're going to be riding with Chunk. So, and the way we're just going to steal the song because nobody owns it. The oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. And Brian will give us our first line. Chunk, you're not going to rhyme with Brian. I'm going to rhyme with Brian. So, Chunk, you get basically a freebie line. And then, so it's on you and me, Corey. It's on you and me. Oh, no. Last week, it was on me and you. Yeah, sucks, huh? Yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, Okay, we'll just have the, the person who's lying it is do the ID dities. <laughs> the you go. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, four. Just, uh, just. So it's gonna ba da ba da ba da da. That's gonna be your line. Chunks is gonna be ba da ba da ba da. And I'll go ba da ba da ba da ba da. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Just keep going. We go around twice, and then we ID ID die again, okay. and then we go around twice okay. again. Okay, <laughs> Cantor Store Fry says refunds. Hey, <laughs> We're working on it. You want it. Okay. We're trying something new and challenging. Bear with yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. Things we could have done in our own time. You'll be fine. <laughs> oh, oh. Idy, 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 oh. I went to start the fight in the snow. And there were two goblins. I thought that, that we could go. Back and get some tins. It was a sure fight. <laughs> we totally won. Ah, uh, my lion's roar didn't go quite right. But you still were the one. 
We don't want to kill anyone. Real quick, pause. Shared experience. Thank you very much for, Thank uh, you. for the host. Thank you. Thanks uh, for the host. Shared experience. No, no, raid. And the raid. Is that raid? And the raid. Both. It's both. Oh, my God. Oh, man, the man. Thanks for bringing me. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. All right. And then I start, right? Uh, wait, yeah, yeah. So we're doing, oh my God, well, we love you too, Yachts yeah, Twitch. Uh, so we're in the middle of a, a drinking song because e every time we hit 100, we're going to sing a bard song. This is the, our version of yeah. the bard song for this campaign. And yep. we're in the middle of it. So bear with us. We'll be right back. All right, yeah. Here we go. And then I start, right? It's really cold. Uh, what is it? <laughs> 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 I don't want to hit anybody. No. <laughs> I don't. It's really cold in the snow. <laughs> no. Fucking hell. Oh. 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 I don't want to hurt us all. <laughs> I like to keep them alive. <laughs> but unfortunately, that doesn't matter with what he said. Ah, <clears throat> oh, for fuck's sake. All right. All right. We'll do better next time. Yeah, Still thank you. My programming. Hey. hey. <laughs> and many more. Uh, uh. Good night, everyone. Wow, well, that was see you a, later. Uh, Nick Dula says this bar dog is worth every penny of my twenty-five. Well, thank you, thank you very much. You're welcome. We take the time during uh -huh. shows to rehearse new things. We think yeah. it's important. <laughs> yep. We don't rehearse backstage. We rehearse on stage. On stage. With you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. You get the full experience. Uh, oh yeah. no. Okay. <laughs> Next is, and many more. Is that a threat? <laughs> yes. It should be. It should be a threat. All right. Yeah. It should be said we'll, with. It should be, it should be we'll said. Very All right, Corey. Next oh, bard okay. song. You and I are gonna start, so you won't have to rhyme. Yay! But then on round two, you will have to rhyme. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got it. You got it, bard. And, <laughs> I'm just a, I'm because you think uh, lower doesn't mean you don't have to I do it. I play the part. I play the part. I might have to do You're the Colin Mockery way. Oh, no. Yep. What's the Colin Mockery way? Well, he changes the... He sings it differently. Just oh. speak. Just yeah. speak words. That's all he does. Speaking just speak words. words. Yeah, he doesn't okay, sing. so, Colra, you... You are attacking yeah. right now. Yeah. Yes. I yeah. was. Yes. Dude, do, do it. Were. Go. Go, girl, go. Where do you go? Thank you. You're cool, too. You said there's two two behind me, right? Yes. Or, yes, okay. two behind you. How far away are they? They are about 35 feet. <gasps> mm. How okay. do they walk? And then the other one is technically 20 feet away from you. That's engaged already with uh, Thruff. Oh, congratulations. Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm really happy. Aw. Huh? Mm -hmm. Freshly engaged. <laughs> uh, Beast, Wolf, Beast Wolf says, Frick, I'm following the Twitter so I don't fiss, miss any episodes. LOL. Unique touch of DD. &D. Oh, oh, thank, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We I'm have all kinds of stuff here, not just DD &D as well. So make sure uh, you join our Discord because we got a full posted schedule. It also gets posted to Twitter. But uh, yeah. Anyway, do what, you, do, do what you gotta do. Thank you. Do the thing. God, I'm out today. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> all right, Colra, what you got for me? Who, uh, what I'm goblin gonna, you're going to... I'm going to bonus action drop the, uh, the, all the... Oh, shut up! No, we have a character! We have a character. What no. now? An Irish man who, even though he's in this campaign, heard about four people, butchered an Irish drinking song and needs to get his rage out. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> That's oh, my no. thing. Oh, That's no. That's how many characters that we haven't seen yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Connie. 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 Pora. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're there. They're waiting for their initiative. Their uh. one initiative. <laughs> All right. All right, Colra. So you're hit. You're dropping the ingots. You're putting yeah. them down. 
Yep. All and right. then I'm going to and then I'm going to mage armor. Mm. Right. Mage armor. Mage yeah. armor up. Mage armor. So I'm at 14 Majumar. now. Mage armor. All right. Mage armor. All right. And then is that that's your action? Bonus action to drop the yep. ingots, action to cast yep. the thing. All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, as uh, Kolra casts his mage armor on himself, uh, you look, because you're looking back towards the goblins, you see a figure come skiing over the hill, kind of shoosh, 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 and he comes skiing down around on, on a pair of wooden skis and kind of splashes one of the goblins with snow as he pulls up. He's like, hey, dudes, it looks like you could use some help. Can I shout out, are those your skis? <laughs> I bet... <laughs> Both of them? <laughs> yeah! How'd you know, dude? Th thanks for being there with me on that one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, he, he comes down the hill and he splashes yeah. one of the goblins with uh, snow. So, one is currently... Uh, being covered by snow so he's kind of he's got to fight his way out of the snow to get in and so that's Derek in on the initiative okay so now Nimia back up to you okay uh so so okay uh there we still have the two behind us and then we have four in front of us right three the four in front the three in front are the three in front? Do they happen to be grouped um, in like a like a twenty foot sphere, twenty foot diameter sphere at all? Uh, they the were surrounding you guys, so definitely. So 10, 15. Mm. yeah, yeah, they are definitely within yeah, twenty. But, but 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 that includes my people too, right? My party. Yes, party it does. Is Shoot, is there? Okay, so. I just want to try to get two of them. Can I just get two of the goblins without anybody in my party? In a you can position it to where you can hit uh, one, the far, the top left goblin and the goblin that is uh, uh, engaged with Thruff. So you yeah, can kind of angle engaged. it back there. So we'll Thanks, do for that. The we'll do that. Thanks, Thanks for the sub! Thanks for the sub, Okay, so I'm going to like turn back that way. I'm going to, let's see. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm going to uh, basically like it's called shatter, so oh, it okay. but, but it's from the flute, right? So it's like it's the magic that comes like from the flute. So it goes like doo -doo -doo, and it's like it glad like, weasel. Oh, thanks for the follow. It like goes and it, and it shatters in this area, and they hear a sudden loud ringing noise, and they have to make a Constitution saving throw. Okay, Whoa. so for the two of them, natural one on one of them, and then, whoa, counter natural 20 on the other. So one takes 18 damage, and the other takes 9 damage. And wow, is... even half? Yeah. Wow. So as you cast the shatter, by the sheer force and magnitude, these goblins, like, clutch their ears and, like, and just into green and red kind of Christmassy <laughs> dust and their <gasps> their heads explode even with half damage. <laughs> wow. 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 Nice. So that two wow. down, three down, I'm sorry. So there's three left. And uh, at this point, uh, the the wagon that you saw off in the distance has now kind of pulled up in front of like stopping the path of where you guys would be going and you see this large heavy set goblin with uh, a top hat as well as a uh, a long uh, strap and a vest he kind of looks well dressed but he gets off the wagon and he's like all right boys let's show them what we're made of and he's going to attack uh, who was in front? Brata. Brata. Ah, misses with a nine. <gasps> second attack. Oh, oh shoot. Second attack disadvantage. Ooh. Second attack also misses. He launches uh, 
two crossbow bolts at Barata, and they they go wide because he's a little too far away to judge the distance a little bit. So now My you have right. a goblet box as well. Uh, Nimia, that is the end of your turn. I'm, I didn't. Yeah, I mind. Yeah, my shattering of the two goblins. Yes, that was the end of my turn. Okay, I didn't know if no, you were I... wanting to move or anything, because you guys can uh... can move still. No, I'm good. Look where we are. Okay, uh, Thruff, you're up. Um, can you remind me who what's left in front of us? Uh, you have the goblin that you're fighting, uh, and then there is one more goblin. Actually, there's two goblins behind you. Okay, I'm gonna, you have the goblin I'm gonna keep fighting the goblin that I have in front of me. I go shishing, shishing with both my bike, my pike, and I yell, "I'm so sorry! You should have come at me." Uh, <laughs> natural twenty, so twenty-four for that one. Uh -huh. and, and then a sixteen. Yeah, both of them hit. And then, so double damage for that first one. That is uh, seven fourteen and Four and nine <laughs> fourteen uh, twenty three damage. <laughs> you should have come at me. You should have come at me. <laughs> yeah. As as you stab him twice, for some reason the strength that you had the first time, you've now like channeled all your focus uh, into your pike, and as you uh, thrust the pike forward <laughs> and stab the goblin, uh, it <laughs> takes out a chunk of his <laughs> intestine, and then the sneeze. second stab takes out the other side, so he's <sighs> his intestines are coming out and bleeding, and he just crumples to the ground. <laughs> Again, I vomit. That was really brutal thrust. Like, How could you do that to him? I didn't want to do it. He didn't come at me. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> That's my character. Voice. Thank you, Dark Jedi Knight. There you go. And don't forget to take your one uh, point of psychic vomit damage. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then yeah. from there... It is a ho coming in. Actually, it's a ho. Oh. Actually, it's a ho. We'll do this instead. Uh, coming out of the wagon, uh, you see a a hunched over figure kind of coming out, but you see the wagon creak back and forth. And as the creature stands up, it unfurls to an eight foot tall goliath with a uh, fur pelt covered mm. ready for winter holding uh, a book in his hand and he's like you need help there boss and he holds out his hand and casts a uh, uh, chill touch on Brata. oh no oh Bra no Brata. girl you're gonna die oh shit you, natural you 20 so no. oh you're super dead you are dead. <laughs> Roll another character. Oh, God. Uh, it, won't, it won't be that bad. I promise. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, <laughs> do, 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 do. You're oh, running this thing. thing. You, if you don't know, what? <laughs> it's not that bad. It's only 1d8. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, just kidding. It's 2d8s. I lied. <laughs> okay. So, oh, God. How much? You get six points of necrotic damage as you kind of feel a little bit of your life being sucked from you. Like, <gasps> Nick, Nick Cthulhu says, My wizard is an enemy. Plot twist. I think he wanted to. Oh. Bum, bum, bum. Plot twist. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, if you if you don't say friend or foe, she'll she'll make a choice. So, mm -hmm. enemy friend or foe. It's more Friend interesting. Ball. Beast Wolf says, Friend don't die. Ball. I just got here. Well, not quite, not <laughs> I don't know. All right. Ow, so, ow, uh, uh, wait, is no chill, chill Touch isn't, it isn't cold damage, right? It's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's uh, necrotic. 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 All right, necrotic. Obviously. <laughs> Duh. All right, so. <laughs> Noobs. Is, Noob. Ooh, the little goblins Boobs. get to go again. 15. Who has an armor class of 15 or less? I do not. No, 
Even with your roar? Wait. It's an AC, right? Yeah. How does that, the roar mess with my AC? Uh, I don't know. I thought it did. No, it just yeah, made, it would make them afraid if it worked. Ah, uh, okay. It doesn't yeah. like bolster I, I wear, your... Uh, no. I wear leather armor, so I'm not that not that tough. Gotcha. Yeah, so the uh, the goblin that actually was in front that has not yet been attacked is going to attack uh, Brata with the scimitar. And he does... Let's see... Ooh, six points of slashing damage. Oh my god. There's only two goblins left, and then you got Goblin Boss Man, and then the Goliath that just showed up. Mm -hmm. All right, and then from there, goblins are gone. Olra, you are up. Um, how That's far you. away is the big? I'm no. <laughs> how far away is the uh, giant? The giant is 40, 45, 50. Yes, is there anybody 50 around the giant? Huh? No, uh, just the boss man. Huh? Just the goblin boss man. Uh, everybody else is kind of pulled away. So the goblin boss man's right next to the fire, the, the giant? Yeah, he's within 10 feet of him. Okay. <laughs> Oh, secrets, 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 secrets. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so what you gonna do there, Cole Ruff? You gonna fireball him? Wait for these idiots to finish. <laughs> order, order in the court! <laughs> I will have no player secrets in my courthouse! <laughs> Good luck. I need a gavel or something, like an air horn, to get your guys' attention. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I'm a I'm a cast fireball on the giant. Do it. Ooh, Ooh girl. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so him and I guess boss goblin are gonna get hit. Mm. Boss goblin. Boss goblin. That's his given name. Boss yep. goblin. Yep, Mr. Boss, boss goblin. Steve Goblin. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. All right, so what is it to hit, or do they have to make a, a saving throw? It's a dexterity saving throw. Ooh, okay, okay. Yes, I hope they fail. All right, uh, the Goliath fails. Let's see about Mr. Boss Man. Ooh, 11. Does 11 pass? Nope, they both fail. They Ooh. both fail. They both take 29 points of fire damage. <gasps> yeah. No! <laughs> choo, choo, choo. Fireball! As you, as you cast this fireball, you your eyes focus in on this boss goblin, and you're like, I really don't like this guy. You cast fireball, and... <sighs> Engulfed in flames, he just he screams and melts yeah. out. My bugs, my bugs, and just is turned into a pile of dust and ash. And the <laughs> man is still standing, but on fire oh. and desperately trying to put himself out. Wow. Thank you, Plaid Weasel, for gifting those subs. Thank oh, you so thank much. you. Hey. Hey. Not Mucho appreciation. Yep. All right. Well, uh, so. Cora, oh, Brata! Brata, that's me. Yes, you. I attack. <laughs> I use my <laughs> battle axe. Mm -hmm. I will attack twice. Uh, the goblin's still uh, near me, still alive? Yes, there is one in the back of the line that Nimia uh, is dealing with, and there's one technically still covered by snow uh, because of Derek. Nice. And then there is one that is uh, still right in front of you, actually. No. Oh. Hey, Plaid Weasel, thank you for the sub, and one unique beast, thank you for the sub. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna attack you, tech. Rawr. 18 to hit. <laughs> Definitely hits. Na, 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 na. Hell yeah, that's 12 damage. Flashing 12 damage. 12 damage. Uh, you your battle act this second time uh, you come across and almost swing like a baseball bat so you come at this goblin with your battle axe and you 
get him right in the side. You crunch his ribs and it pushes like all the way through. And as you pull back your battle axe, he's missing a good chunk of his side and just crumples to the ground dead. Sweet. Now I charge it and I'll run after the next one and hit him. I get two attacks. All right. Two attacks. Right. You're losing all your movement speed. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, this is an 11 to hit. 11! 11. Does it not oh. hit? Uh, 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 Wait, let me see if I let me see if I got any. You can use your D eight, your for an ability check attack roll or save. Oh yeah, do that. I do that now. Do it. Do it. La 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 Um, this one you have a little more fun with. You you run up to this goblin that's already been hurt uh, by Nimia's attack, and you just kind of come up. You sweep under the leg, so you trip him up. Sweep and the then leg! Mid, mid air, floating in the air, you bring your axe up and around and bat him back down with your axe. Put him uh, in a body bag, Johnny. <laughs> down you go. Down, down, down. Killing him. And there is only one goblin left that's still eh, eh, desperately trying to get out from the snow that uh, Derek put him under. And is that the rest of your uh, your action? I want to see real quick. I might be able to use one of my talents. Uh, Which one? Uh, uh, see, tell, I, no, that only boosts an attack I already did. No, I'm good. I'm done. Can you use juggling? Or baton twirling? Or what? Baton no, 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 floating? No, no. baton twirling. You're talented. Oh, yes, yes. I'm quite talented. Wow. All right. Um, so as as the little goblin makes its way out from underneath the snow, just <laughs> barely pops its head out from under the snow, Derek just standing there takes his uh, ski, ski pole and just whap, bonks him on the head. <laughs> and murders him. It, it gives him three points of damage, so he's he's stunned, and he's now got a little lump on his head that's now sticking above his head. So he's uh, he's injured, not dead, but injured and confused now. So there's the Goliath still left, and the goblin stuck in the snow, and we're back top Nimia. Okay, uh, the Goliath is there with the sarcastic uh, uh, spellbook, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to cast a uh, hideous laughter. I think. Yes, yes, yes. Let, let, let's a wisdom save. Let's see. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let's do. Uh, no, let's do dissonant whispers. I want to. Like, it's like I kind of whisper, and the whisper kind of like falls around the snow and jumps up to him, and like. You can, he just like you hear all of a sudden he's like oh no it's like his darkest deepest thoughts like are just like getting to him they're getting to him he needs to make that's the name of my wisdom band save. He needs to him? make a darkest, wisdom deepest thoughts no, uh, he the dissonant whispers oh nice is it verbal and semantic uh, dissonant whispers or is it also verbal? material it is verbal oh just verbal oh sweet so hand let's see. You want? He notices that you are casting something and cast counter spell as a reaction. And it's ten plus a level, so uh, so now does that challenge your your spell casting attack? I have no idea how counter spell works. Hmm? So casting uh, counter spell, mm -hmm. uh, what was mm -hmm. the save on it? <laughs> what, what do you mean? A 14? Right. Oh, okay. So I'm just going against what the attack spell would be. And he's casting it at third level, so it actually just fails by one. So he tries to cast counter spell, but your spell goes through. <gasps> Yay! Okay, cool. Because your spell attack is higher than his counter spell. So it still punches my through. My spell attack or my spell save DC? Uh, spell save DC. Okay, it's 14. Okay, yes. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so it doesn't work? Okay, so he gets zapped psychically. It gets to him, right? Um, 3d6 damage! Ooh. Nine damage. Nine, Nine damage. Nine. Nine psychic damage? Yes. So as you Nine. cast these dissonant whispers, you can kind of see them try to cast the the counter spell and then it not work and he's like, oh, oh, no. And you kind of see him like start to wobble back and forth, like holding his head a little bit. Uh, next up is Thruff. That's me. That's yes, you. It That's you. There's still goblin left, right? There is there one is goblin one left stuck in the snow yeah. in the glass. I move over to him and do the same thing with my pike. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mm, 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 mm. One, thirteen, and seven. Wait, what was the first one to hit? Thirteen. Does not hit. Seventeen does. <sighs> I secretly go. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> And then the second one punches through. I'm so glad I missed. Wait. All right. And the then, wasn't that seven and thirteen? Seven and thirteen. Oh, seven and thirteen. So Sorry, I, I thought both. it was seventeen and thirteen. Uh, no, seven. no, they both miss. Yeah. So he he's actually nimble enough to be like, huh, huh, and like dodge your pike back. And I'm kind of pulling my punches. <laughs> All right. So next goes the Goliath with the sarcastic spell book. So as the Goliath is like holding his head, like wobbling back and forth, like, oh, I don't feel so good, Mr. Spellbook. And he's like, get back in there, kid. What are you? You got to put him in a body bag. He's like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Sarcastic and spell then, book, not sadistic spell book. Stop Cobra Kai, okay? <laughs> Put him in a body bag, Johnny! Put him in a body, body, body bag! Sweet to He's delay. going to cast a uh, fire bolt at uh, Brata. Oh no! Firebolt! 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 Alright, and it's a. Smash! <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu, I choose you! Uh, does a 13 hit? It, it exactly <laughs> hits, yes. <laughs> oh, no! Alright, so Firebolt. Oh, now get... you're gonna die for sure. Yeah. No, yeah. Just, 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 just gonna keep yeah. saying that until you're right, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be right one day. One of these That's days. That's true. Two I... points of fire damage, Brata, from the Firebolt. Two? Two. All right, I laugh Ooh. as the fire as the fire hits me, and I make eye contact with the Goliath, like, come on, come on. and blink. Does it like light, you up? Does it lightly send your mane? But, oh, just a little it, bit. Better don't. I have a glorious mane. <laughs> it just singes the ends off, just the split ends. <gasps> it's got little crispies oh, all over. Dead man. <laughs> All right. Oh, they got uh, split ends. And that's actually helpful, right? That's like, oh, so I mean, technically, yeah. Yeah, sure, that. All right. So, uh, <laughs> does a fifteen hit Nimia? Fifteen, yeah. Uh, the I'm goblin kind of regained his consciousness and realized what was going on. So he went to just stab you with his little scimitar. And let's see his little scimitar. Five points of damage, slashing oh, damage. Oh, we look at the same way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then from there is Brata. You're up. Brata, Brata. I'm gonna go attack the Goliath. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Go get him. Is he close enough for me to get to? Yeah, definitely. All right, battle axe is gonna going. hit his face. I'm gonna split the gap. Kill him. All Kill right, him good. Split the gap. You're gonna split his gap. Uh, 22 to hit. Ow! Definitely hit. Woo! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh, six damage. Aww. Next attack. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 26 to hit. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, he's a mage, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then nine damage, but I'm going to use one of my, my psionic features over here. I'm going to use my teleconnect strike to boost that. Uh, okay. And I get to use a 1d8 one, one on top of the damage I already rolled. You want to use my psychic powers to boost it. So now it's 14 right. total damage as as my, my brain powers whoosh it. Astra Adam. Nice. All right, and this is all with, with your battle axe? Yep. How do you want to kill this eight-foot Goliath wizard? I look Wizarding. him in the face and I say, You dare to attack my beautiful mane? I will make you a uh, hell to... I slice him straight down the middle, like from forehead, like, but it like the battle axe peels like through all the way down. And then he just kind of opens up like a grizzly flower and it just all sp spills just out. Ugh. So yeah. beautiful. And then, I, and then I pick up his sarcastic spell book and I put it in my pocket. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the only one that is left is the goblin that is still half stuck in the snow that, uh, poked Nimia. Uh, so next yeah. up is Kolra. Chill touch. And you are right here. You do it. All right. Uh, is that a save? No, it's a roll. Cool. Uh, that's a 17 to hit. Ah, uh, that hits. And that's nine points of necrotic damage. Ooh, as your ghostly spectral hand reaches out and grabs this goblin, kind of like a, a shadow of Mordor, you grab his hand and be like, there's nothing in you. And you suck the life out of him and you just see the life leave his body. Holy little just... Kang Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get over here. Brutal. All the Ooh. goblins and the Goliath are now dead, and you now have a uh, a new accompaniment, Derek. Whoa, dudes! You guys are uh, pretty good at that killing stuff. Derek, I, I, I challenge I thee to a ski off. We call it a scoff. Mm -hmm. Scoff. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hey, but don't you want to grab that wagon? Somebody should. You and me, bro. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna ski it out though. Right. All right. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. 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 So is someone right. uh, commandeering of the <laughs> uh, wagon, newly acquired wagon that you guys just got? Yeah, I yes. will. I have my little, I'll pull out my little loot. I have my wagon. Bling, bling, bling. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the iron and put it in the wagon. Perfect. So I don't have to carry Iron. it. You're welcome, yeah. everybody. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh. I'm gonna put myself in the wagon because I don't want to walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Nimia, you are uh, in charge of the horses. Kolra, uh, you're in the back with the crate. And Thruff, you are also in the back. Uh, Brata, you are now challenging Derek to a ski off. It's like, all right, bruh, you ready to do this? Ta. Yes, brah, but my name is Brata, not brah. Brata, I like it. All right, dude, ready? Puts the goggles on, steady, let's go. Uh, so make me an athletics check. Plot of Wizzle says a scoff can only be accompanied by a scoff performance. Nope. Sounds good. <laughs> name me what is your athletics check? 18. 18. Ooh. So you guys take off. What are you using for skis, Barata? Uh, I like to think since we're getting close to the end, I've smashed my uh, my snowshoes and I'm basically just using the rims of them as my skis. <laughs> Icky Bully says Suburban Legends. Yes, we know them. Oh, yeah. We should, we, should, ah. yeah we, should. we should get Aaron and Vince to come play. Okay. Yeah, we should. Yeah, let's do With it. instruments so they can, they can actually do bard songs. Holy shit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's a wow. Let's do it. Legit bard songs. Let's go. <laughs> yes. All right. So, uh, Brata Kong's and uh, your, 
asking, um, are you using your battle axe to kind of push you like a ski pole? Uh, let's see. What else do I got? Let's see all my. What else my... you got? Because he's have... got two skis and two poles. So I'm he's, actually going to use my, his... my great sword on one side and my longbow on the other side to be my ski sticks. Nice. Nice. So you're pushing using your your uh, bow and your long sword to push yourself in. You're getting out just a little bit ahead of him. And he's like, whoa, sick moves, bro. And he's like, but have you seen this? And you see him kind of pull off to the left hand side. And it looks like he's breaking off. And then he does this big swoop and he finds this little hill and he jumps off of it. And then he does like a little trick and holds his skis and then lands it perfectly. And then now he's ahead you oh no 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 hold on i'm gonna use another psionic talent I'm gonna use this <laughs> my psi powered leap uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna do a jump of my own anytime i make a high or a long jump i can roll my psionic talent die and extend the distance of my jump up to a number of feet equal to twice the number rolled plus twice my intelligence modifier wow do it do, do it wow wow indeed wow ah yeah. uh, fuck i rolled a one okay wow. so that's gonna be so no, my normal speed is Oh, 30. I should have given you guidance no, before you started, 35. but you're already down the hill. Right. How far 30, down the hill is he? 37, 38, 39, uh, 40, He's 41. about 15 feet ahead of can, uh, Barata right now. My speed can I, is 41. And how far would he be from me? Uh, you're in the wagon. I'm assuming you guys are kind of following the, the trail a little bit. The horse yeah. can go off-roading since there is no technical path yeah. out here where you guys are. Um, so they're following in the path that's being made by, like, the two skis, so it's a little uh -huh. bit easier. Uh, but you guys are back. They're they're way ahead of you, at least, like, a good 50 to 55 feet. Dang it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, Bratta, how many feet did you end up going? I, I, I recalculate. 42, not 41. So 41 is my speed, so it's, like, my entire speed, this chunk of movement is, is instead what? of 35, it's 42. Excuse me? Did you got it? What? <laughs> what happened? I don't know, you, you said my name. Did, yeah. A good chunk you, of speed. Oh, god damn it, get out. Oh, I, I, thought, I thought you needed something. <laughs> you needed something. <laughs> uh, Chunk, did you want to, like, send him a message? I can send him a, I can do a message. He's oh, no, I was going to try to trip the other guy with my mage. Oh, oh. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, after he does his little like leap trick, grabs his skis and is l landed about 15 feet in front of you, you do your uh, psionic propelled leap and you just shoom forward almost like an Iron Man type situation. Yeah. Time slows down a little bit as you're coming up next to him. You look at him and you're like, yeah. And he's like, oh. <laughs> you, you speed ahead of him and then you, you get to where there's this clearing but you see these two trees in between kind of like a fuel goal post so you end up skiing through there and then you kind of uh, kick out a little bit standing there like one <laughs> and he pulls up right. his goggles. all right barata Sick moves. I can appreciate that. And then he gives you a little fist bump. And he's like, uh, all right, I'll escort you guys into town since you seem like such a cool party. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, what a class act. Thank you for yeah, your no heroism. My name is Derek, by the way. Thank you, Derek. All right, well, let's get on back to town. I'm sure you guys don't want to be out here any longer than what you already have, considering those guys back there. Yeah, I yeah, they're dead. Know. We suck here. We took care of them. Yeah, but you never know when, when more of them could be lurking around or maybe even like a Yeti or something. I hear there's lots of Yetis around here. Oh, we saw one. It's okay. We killed that too. You're right. <gasps> wow, you guys are like... Badass or something. For sure. Or something. <laughs> we 
or something. Or so Derek something. is going to escort you guys uh, back to town. So he'll continue doing his little skis next to the wagon as you guys uh, trek all the way back to Bryn Shander. But now that you have a wagon, you guys cut down on your travel time by a significant amount. Huzzah. Man, who plays the game There's like still that? still one more character who needs to show. Just to remind I got. Oh, I got one. Yes. All right. Perfect. Yeah, we're going back to Bryn Shander, so this is perfect. Um, nice. So as you guys pull back into Bryn Shander, you get back onto the road, and things are a little bit easier. So as you guys are pulling more into uh, cobblestone paths and stuff, uh, Derek waves you guys off as the wagon pulls away from me. He's like, "Nice to meet you guys. If you're ever needing uh, some ski lessons, hit me up." And the wagon just kind of keeps pulling away, and he waves at you, and he goes off to to the nearby bar in Bryn Shander. Hi. As you guys go into the uh, Bubbling Cauldron, where you see uh, your dwarven accomplice, uh, Herna, the one that gave you the mission, sitting at a table with uh, another uh, female dwarven figure. And you can see that she has a very large battle axe on her uh, backside, as well as a hand axe yes, on the does. side, and a large scar across her forehead, nose, and mm. into her cheek a little bit. As you guys walk into the bubbling cauldron, Haruna sees you guys and he's like, Hey, you're back! Ah, the Yeti didn't get you. Ha <laughs> ha, well met, friend. Wait, well wait, met. you knew about the Yeti and you didn't say nothing? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why didn't you warn us about the Yeti? It didn't yeah, warn us nice. about the Yeti. That was like the first thing out of his mouth. Was to warn us about the Yeti. Very well. <laughs> Thank you for just warning right. us about the Yeti. Thank you for the warning. <laughs> Oh, oh I'm, no I'm. problem. And here is the uh, the reward that we promised you. And she pulls out this sealskin bag that's uh, full of gems. And she hands it over to who is the person that is speaking to Hrna? We'll go Thruff. Hands Thruff the yes. bag of gems. As you open it up, you see that there are six large gems of varying size and color. But each are worth 50 gold pieces. And there are Sweet. six of them. Okay, I I'm gonna give Brata one. I'm gonna give Nimir one. I'm gonna give Cobra one. And I'll Thank just you. hang on to these three. Wait <laughs> just a minute. Yeah, wait a second. I'm I'm just like the bank in Monopoly. I'm just gonna hold on to him in case we need him. All right, well, time I'll take one for me, cause and then I'll save the rest All for right. a for a rainy day. All right. I'm saying. Why do you need those Mom if it rains? <laughs> Snowy day. As Herna gives you the the bag of gems as promised, she's like, "Thank, Suckers. thank you, my friends. I I appreciate it." <laughs> and as fate would have it, I've run into another friend that actually needs some help. So if you wouldn't Shocking. mind, <laughs> since you guys seem so adept at handling situations like this, right. I figure you could help her out here come come speak with her and then she kind of walks back over to the female dwarven character she was sitting with and she's like gang i would like you to meet lena and she's kind of gruff she's like hey Hello, and lena. Herna, Hello. Herna puts her hand on on lena's shoulder and she's like oh come on lena don't give them such an icy reception they're gonna help you out remember that thing that you were telling me about they can take care of it. They're the ones that got all the ingots back. Hey, speaking of which, where are the ingots? Yeah, right What's the reward? Wait, did we take him off the we cart? We just got the reward. Why is no one paying attention? <laughs> no, for the new contract. Oh. Why aren't you paying attention? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. Because we haven't gotten there yet. Wait, is, is somebody <laughs> get the ingots off the cart before what's his face rolled away? Yeah, I yeah, picked yeah, them yeah, up yeah, yeah, the yeah. back because I was them. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got oh, the okay. ingot. <laughs> What's the okay. ingot right here? Then. Oh, fantastic! So take she she takes the ingots and she. I haven't given them to her yet. 
Oh, they're just Wait, in the crate you, there? You mean we could have just take Ren off with our reward before you give you the ingots? Yep. Very trusting. Nope. <laughs> I still haven't given over the ingots yet. I'm holding on to them. Right, I've already given Run. you my snowshoes and we've lost our sled mm. out there. There was really not what? much to lose here in this situation. <laughs> So she whistles over to her two compadres that are uh, were with her on the mission, and they're sitting over at a table, a separate table in the corner of the bar, and they come over, they uh, open the crate, check and make sure it's like, hey, it's the black iron ink, it's all right. They pick it up, and then they start shuffling out as they go towards the blacksmith, and Herna says, well, I'll leave you two to discuss uh, future contracts. And she gives you a wink. But if you ever need uh, any discounts over at the blacksmithery, you be sure to drop my name. And she kind of gives you like this little like nose and a wink. So you guys now have 10% off at the local oh, blacksmith. Nice. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. 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 I, like I like that you were just assuming that I set the ingots down. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know that's what you were gonna say. That's why I was like, just nope, things are gone. <laughs> They're gone. They got gone too late. already. Oh, oh too late. gosh, where's Ryan? <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> I need some quick. So, I need somebody to slow down the story. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually moving along. Yeah, if you'd like to give Ryan DM powers, powers we can Ryan. slow this story up by about uh, an hour. An hour, yeah. <laughs> or a day. I mean, all or that one minute will feel like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doc mean, Show says, Doc Show says, and a connection for cocaine, apparently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. tap, tap. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we just have lots of uh, snow around here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so fresh powder out there. <laughs> no, it's really fresh. There's powder everywhere. <laughs> That's why There's everybody so comes to ice with me. Oh my god. Yeah, my uncle did a snow, snow angel, saw God, and died. What <laughs> 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 damn this thing? What damn this thing? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, wait, L2S Entertainment says, gonna be honest, I misclicked and clicked you guys in my recommended section and saw wonderful puppets playing Muppets playing D D. I'm Florida and to be and immediately love it. Thank you. Oh, thank, you. thank you for misclicking. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for misclicking. You misclick more often. Yeah. yeah. Unless you're Appreciate looking for us and then you know, may your click, click be the true. right place. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, Crimson Honda says, I feel like I'm on an acid trip from the eighties. Well, you know. <laughs> Oh, Same. Same. Lightsabers. Ooh. A little more. Well, we're not lightsaber part yet. Ooh. So, um, as, as Herna kind of sets you off she and lets you know, it's like, hey, don't forget to stop by the uh, Black Iron Blacksmith is where you guys can get the 10% discount in Bryn Shander. Nice. Uh, she, she walks out the door. She leaves you in the company of uh, Lena and she slugs back the rest of her drink and she's and she gives all you guys kind of a once over all right if you helped out her or not then um i guess she can help out me too come yeah come have a mm. she calls for uh, another round of drinks from the the innkeeper and uh comes over and they all give you a round of drinks so you guys sit down around the table with uh lena so you did a successful job for her now. Congratulations on this. But this is something a little bit more difficult than just retrieving a, a box of ingots here. It's uh, requiring a little more tact. Well, what do you got? What are well, you buying? You guys what are don't you know. <laughs> I've, I've been a bounty hunter most of my life, and I've taken respite here in Icewind Dale. But oh. some right. of the skills, they just don't leave you. They... They're ingrained in you. So naturally, I've picked up on uh, on the scent of a guy who's been killing innocent people in the name of the Frost Maiden. Oh. His name is Stephen Caltro. What? What's his name? His name is Sephic Caltro. He uh, runs bodyguard for a traveling uh, uh, sales named Torx. Which Whoa. is run by Torga Icevane, uh, a fellow dwarf. 
but uh, she kind of runs a little bit of a shady business, but my problem isn't with her. It's with Sefik, her bodyguard, but he never leaves her side, so it's important to know. Wherever Torga goes, Sefik goes, until it's off hours and he's allowed to go drinking. I got wind that he's over at Dugan's Hole uh, making a <laughs> sale right Who now. Who is it? I hope he asked permission. <laughs> God damn it. Consent is an important thing. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> what I heard he's on the way to Dugan's is- Hole to make some sort of... Uh, another what? killing, essentially. Oh, so, if you guys could go and stop this, I would greatly appreciate it. Unfortunately, what, what? what do you well, mean what? by stopping it? What? Well, what? No. Well, reward. Your... <laughs> <laughs> look at me! Look at me! What do we get? Look at me! What's the reward? <laughs> what is this? The reward. Is... Listen, I've got too much gold, and my joints don't oh, really agree with the weather too much. Listen, I'm old, I'm retired, but I can't Listen, help on picking up on things that just ain't right around here. I'm listening. Yeah. Yeah. What's the reward? Yeah, we just need a number. We're just looking for a number. How's 100 gold per person sound? That sounds fine. All right, and uh, you know what? The last, the last thing was we got 600 gold. No, we didn't. We got 300 gold. Sounds good. <laughs> we are all right. Hired. Fantastic. So, I'll give you guys the the layout. So, word is Torgas is heading towards Dugan's Hole. They're gonna set up shop for the day. They usually kind of set their stuff out on crates. But once shop is done, everybody kind of goes their own separate ways. So my suggestion is find Sefik when he's alone and drunk and take care of him. Because you don't want to get Torga involved. Why, what because do you mean take care, care of him? Take How, care like, of him. Like take care of him? Take care of him. Take care of him. Do you guys don't know how I feel about him? I don't know how I feel about taking care of somebody. I feel fine about it. Okay. Cholera? Yes. Is there is there a, a health insurance option for this job? Yeah, this sounds dangerous. Can you I include medical? Th- I'm terrified of little elf person stealing my <laughs> teeth in the evening. Yes. Oh, speaking of which, thing. Hermie was with you the whole time, just kind of in the back. You're like, useless yeah. elf! <laughs> I was <laughs> <smashing> <laughs> Smack him across the room. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Where did you get through anything during that battle? <laughs> uh, so, so Herbie was with you, so as he pulled into town, he kind of hopped off, and he's like, All right, I'll be your point of info, guys. If you any need... If you need town information on any sort of gossip, I'm your go-to guy. I got the inside for you. If you any need so, town info. Yeah, so he'll he's going to start practicing his uh, dentistry in Bryn Shander, but he's now your source of information in Bryn Shander if something's going around. Oh, no, uh, okay. So okay. that's that's Hermie. Uh, Hermie got taken care of. All right, so no, back to Lena. Listen, do I look like I have any sort of thing called a health insurance up here in the Icewind Dale in perpetual night? I could just hire a doctor about standby. Yeah, a lot of gold. You said. Per my contract, I'm required to ask. You know what? I should probably go seek my uh, local health physician. That may not be a bad idea. I'll take that into consideration. But anyways, 100 gold per person. You guys in on trying to I, kill this guy? This. He's wrongfully killing innocent people <laughs> in the name <laughs> of the Ross Maiden. 125. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if you guys are good enough here, I'll let you in on this little bit. Apparently, Torga is carrying around a body of somebody that's got a bounty on his head for another 125 gold. If you can find the body and bring it back, I'll turn it in and that gold is all yours. Right. So another 125 if you bring back the body of the guy she's already killed. All right, I'll do that. I can do that. If it's already dead, I don't have to kill it. 
Nick of Thule says, you know, I heard there's a Goliath wizard who's also the town doctor. Uh, about that. About that. Here's the thing. Oh, no. Is, is the body alive? Does Lena know if the body is alive? No, she knows that the body is dead. Yeah. Why is he just carrying oh, it around? To turn it in she, for the bounty. She hasn't turned it in for the bounty yet because she's doing her rotations. She hasn't gotten oh. back to the point of return. So she's uh, she's slowly making her way back to where the bounty is turned no in. Return. Return. So we'll know what it is. Sorry. Oh, no. 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 Well, no, who is. Okay, what was that name, Mia? Well, no, who is because they will smell awful. Because it'll be rotten corpse smelling. They're frozen. (laughs) Not when it's below 104 degrees. Or no. If they're in a bar. I was going to say. If they're in a bar. And we get comfy. Does the bar not get warm? It's gonna start to rot. I mean, we're not saying that. Outside. Yeah. Okay. You're surrounded by a perpetual freezer. Like I I mean, I. I, What? The death sickle. That body's not gonna rot for a while. Yeah, yeah, he's he is literally a frozen popsicle right now, and he's just being carried around as such. Negative. (laughs) I am a meat popsicle. Meat sickle. A meatsicle. Meatsicle. Meat bag? Meatsicle. Meatsicle. All right. So uh, Lena tells you that they were heading out towards uh, Dugan's Hole. Uh, so <laughs> you know that with your wagon, you actually can get there in under three. You can get there in three and a half hours, which would normally take six, seven, eight, nine. That would take nine hours to get there. So you guys are cutting your travel time in half by taking the wagon. So you guys can actually get there before the the sun sets, before it gets darkest. Hey, remember that singer that we hit with a rock? Be a shame if she had a sister or something. It would be. It would be a shame. <laughs> I don't think and- I would want to do that. <laughs> and... and- that point like summoning the candy man through the the front doors to the bubbling cauldron burst in and uh snow comes kind of gushing in (sighs) and you see a a red-haired uh purple cloaked figure and she's bursting in she's like who was the one that hit my sister I point to Thruff. I know it's one of you. I, 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 point, I point at Crawler. <laughs> Crawl I point around. over there. <laughs> there. You're all pointing where? At I'm Nimia. pointing at Thruff. Korra's just pointing over there, and Nimia's pointing at me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lena just kind of looks at all of you like, all right, slugs down her drink, gets up from the table, and moves off. All right, I'll be here when you come back with the- Wait, wait, wait! It was me! <laughs> My guilt! Since when? And the the red haired woman standing in the door come comes marching up to you and then she slaps you across the face. Uh, Let's see what kind of unarmed damage. Three points of damage. <laughs> you! You were the one that threw the rock at my sister. She just wanted to sing. She, do you know she's been in a horrible depression and that was the first time she's <gasps> wanted to sing in three months? And he and called her names. Maybe she should have it. taken lessons. She was causing a depression in the inn. She was causing a bit of a nuisance. A, a bit. Well, I fine, mean, but it, you, uh, you in, in her defense, Bratat didn't ask her to stop before he threw the rock. He could have asked to stop. We her. all asked her to stop. Uh, we all asked her to stop. I, I was there. I don't remember that. You don't remember anything. <laughs> also here, true. here. I, I go into, uh, into Thruff's bag and I pull out one of the gems for singing lessons for your sister. Oh, Oh, May she God. sing on key from now on. Or I swear to God, I will throw another rock at her head. 
and your head for bringing this back upon us. Wait, what did you give her? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> You gave her your her, gem? Well, it's yours. No, I gave her, no. I pulled it from your bag. No, I have nope. my bag. You have to get it from me. I have my bag. I you just gave her, uh, you just, just gave her your gem. strength roll. Woohoo! There, <laughs> there it is. Let's see who gets it. Strength roll, eh? Mm-hmm. I rolled mine. Who is strong? What you got? 11. <laughs> Natural 20, 24. <laughs> So, <laughs> Thrub, is, you're trying to res trying to resist. Uh, Arata is just like, okay, enough of this. <laughs> and reaches out and pulls out one of the gems uh, and hands it to Anne. And she's standing there with Damn this it. large gem that's definitely enough to give her sister singing lessons. She's like, D good one. Hopefully, I should thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes, and, and when she can sing, not crappily. I would like her to sing me a song. I you just know try what? to buy you a woman. Like a very I would like her to sing me a song, not give me herself, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's wrong? Hey, what is wrong These with you? These are not the same. These are not equal the same. That's not the same. It was a question. <laughs> it was a creepy ass question. <laughs> yeah. Take four more psychic damage. Oh. <laughs> Just for thinking bad thoughts. That's a good joke. What happens if you play a morally conscious character? Uh. 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 <laughs> so you give this the the gem to Anne, and she's she's like, I. I apologize for for slapping you, but it is my duty to protect my sister, and and I care about her very much, and I don't like to see her getting bullied. I understand. Oh, I deserve the slap. I give the gem bag back to Thruff. There you go. Uh, if you didn't Thank like you. seeing her bullied, you would have gotten her singing lessons earlier. Yeah. I did not have the money to give her for that singing wasn't lessons earlier. Oh, I see. That was Thank to Anne. You. Oh. All right. Yeah. And what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, times have been really hard, and we really haven't been able to forage or farm for anything because of Oriel's awful spell that she keeps casting every single night. So we haven't, we've been struggling to make ends meet, and we really haven't had a lot of extra income. And and she she holds the gem again. She's like, but this this will help us immensely, and definitely, I I will make sure that she gets lessons. And no, it's for singing year, lessons only. Culture, she'll sing for you. Lovely. So, I look forward to it. And the gem is for singing lessons only, nothing else. Yeah, no food. <laughs> nothing. nothing. Just, just singing lessons. Only singing lessons. Cause she kind of yeah. narrows yeah. Your, her eyes at, at you two, but then she looks back at Barata with, with a like a softer look in her face, and she's like, "I, I'm Anne. What's your name?" I am Barata. Brata, nice, nice to meet you. We're gonna need Rara. receipts. <laughs> yes. You must send the receipts. Yes, please send the accountant after two weeks so we may yes. inspect all we of We have to books. know that she goes to singing lessons only. Right, I would like progress <laughs> reports. I would like you to message me one of her songs every yeah. week so that I know that she is getting better. Because if she is you not know getting better, I will request a refund. Got it. It's a patron <laughs> position. It's not. It's not a just like. It's not just paying. It's a patronage, more. Yes. Yeah. Right. Oh, you... like, a, like a sponsorship. I. Yeah. Okay. I'll be sure to tell Elva that that's the deal, and that she'll be able to perform here. Hopefully, after only a few weeks of lessons. So, hopefully, by the time you all return, she'll be ready to to perform here. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, if yeah. she isn't, <laughs> she'll just have to try harder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, of course. And then she kind of just is like, thank, thank you. Th thank you for being so, so understanding. I'll, I'll go tell my sister the good news. And, and then she kind she scampers oh. off and she, she'll go report to Elva that she now has uh, gem money for singing lessons. I'd like to pick up as she runs away. I'd like to pick up a rock and throw it right past her intentionally miss and say, see, we still got good aim. I missed on purpose. Roll an attack roll. Oh. I told you I'm gonna miss though on what purpose. A dick. 
Yeah, but what so, if you fail so at missing on purpose and you hit her by accident? Yeah, roll at disadvantage then. All right. Is that is that unarmed? I guess we'll just or is it, oh do I have a ranged? Let's see. It's just unarmed. Not, All not right. too many points of damage. Fly away from here. <laughs> Would you like fifteen or twenty-four? <laughs> Disadvantage, so fifteen. Um, yeah, my we'll my say, unarmed strike is really high. Ooh. Uh, you you intentionally throw the rock, wanting to miss her, but it actually gets a little closer to her than than you thought, so she can hear it whiz past her ear, and she's like, <gasps> and she, she she hustles off back home even faster, like with a quick pace. Just <laughs> <laughs> that was so shocking. That's mean, dude. That's fucked up. I didn't hit her. I missed. Yeah, but you threatened her. You scared her. You might. You should have yeah. just hit her at least. Now that, the emotional damage here. you just did is far worse than the physical damage you could have done. What happened to your voice, though? I ran out of air. I ran out of air in the middle of my sentence. What is it, though? I didn't want to stop. I didn't want to stop. Okay. All right, so now yeah. you guys are left in the bubbling cauldron inn. Uh, you now have uh, Lena's contract uh, ready to go. So you guys can either choose to take off for the day or you can stay the night at the bubbling cauldron. Must it's up to you. Night. What would you like to do as a party? I wanna, I wanna, if we stay the night, does that mean we get a, uh, a long rest? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, I, want, I, need, I, I want to rest. I need that yeah. too. Okay, uh, so your uh, your rooms are already taken care of, care of uh, thanks to uh, Herna. She went ahead and paid for your accommodations for another Ooh, night because uh, she knew that you guys would be returning to her, returning the ingots, so she took care of that. So you guys can stay in the inn for the night, get your long rest, and then I'm assuming you guys will take off in the morning in your wagon to Dugan's Hole. At sunrise. Long rest. That's right. Long rest. It's not sunrise because every night Ariel casts her magical spell that does not make the sun come up. At morning time. At morning lighter time. sun time that would be there. <laughs> All right. All of you take your long rest. Yay. All right. How would you like to travel to uh, Dugan's Hole? <laughs> With protection, please. Yes. <laughs> Picking the way to Dugan's Hole. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we load up the wagons, uh, wave goodbye yep. to Is there a horse. You got two horses on your wagon. There were two horses pulling the wagon. Well, they should get off the wagon no. and start pulling it. Are there other horses? <laughs> yeah. The horses should probably do the thing. <laughs> 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 Silly horses. <laughs> horses go on the ground, not on the wagon. Horses go on the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> Ryan's laughing because it's not him right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's, He's so happy right, right now. Okay. He's so happy. <laughs> He's so happy. Oh, thanks. Enjoy He's your only vacation. saying that because I'm close enough to hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? All right, you he said I'm pack funny. Up the wagon. You guys have uh, a three and a half hour trek to Dugan's Hole, uh, taking the yeah, roadway. Mm -hmm. So you'll take the route uh, up and around Goodmead, and then down towards Dugan's Hole, which is just a quick uh, yes, cucumber. I would like to spend time during this ride to in, like thoroughly investigate and get acquainted with the sarcastic spell book. Ooh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I did a note noted. Mm -hmm. Alright, sarcastic spell book. Uh what? cause who's running the horses? Who's up front? Because there is a spot for two people up in the front, and then obviously the inside of the wagon can accommodate more than you guys. So who's who's I'm taking the reins? Not me. Okay. Rata's inside. Okay. Cool. Right. I would like to be the second. I got the person. horses. Yeah, I would like to okay. be the second person up front playing music, but not in charge of. Oh, music. I'm in the back then. 
All right, I'll no, be in charge of horses. horses. I'll be in charge of horses. You're playing music. He doesn't yeah. want to be okay. next to you. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Thruff will be in charge I, yeah. of the horses. Nimia will be up uh, in the second seat up front. And then Kolra and Thruff. Nope. Sorry, Barata and Kolra will be inside the wagon. Uh, okay. Kolra, what are you doing inside the wagon? You have three and a half hours. Would you like to do something? Is, is the blacksmith back at, at, at the town we were at, or is that a different town? Uh, the black iron blacksmith is in Bryn Chander. Which Where we're is, going? We're going? No, no, no. Uh, it's in the town that you are in currently, oh, not okay, the one that you're okay, going to. Okay. okay. Oh. Yeah. Should we stop by him first? Yes, 15% off. Yeah, that's a good choice. We could get something yeah, so, devastating. Yeah, we're we're gonna get we're gonna go there first before we leave. Yes. yes. Okay. Da. Yeah. Right. Oh. Skip it. All right. So you guys go and uh, visit the uh, black iron blacksmith, and you actually see one of the other dwarfs that was part of Herna's uh, trio. You see him actually working away. Pew, pew, Banging away on uh, a long sword on an anvil. Bang away, bang away, bang away. <laughs> and, he, and he notices you guys approach. He's like, "Oh, you are the ones that helped us out." I uh, th yeah. thank you for that. He kind of wipes the soot off of his forehead, takes off his glove, and goes to shake your guys' hand. It's like, ah, uh, <laughs> my, my name's Cole. Hi, Cole. Uh, uh, we, we were told you could do a lot of free work for us because we helped out? Yes. This is what I heard, too. Oh, well, yeah. Herna told me that uh, you guys can get a discount here for, for helping us retrieve those iron ingots. Yeah. Like, it's 75% uh, off, right? Yeah. More like 15% off. But oh, what, what you guys okay. need? We got a, a stash That's in the back. That's not what I heard. Uh, I'm pretty handy myself at the... Are you amp. able to improve a weapon I currently have? Well, that I can uh, definitely do, but it depends on what you want done. I like uh. this battle axe of mine. I would like it to be even more fearsome and dangerous. Yeah. Uh, my like battle axe, when you look at it, it's got the face of a, of a Leonin. And uh, mm -hmm. like the, the axe portion Did makes up the main... Sir? Dungeon Meowster! Thanks for the follow! Dungeon Meowster! I have a shirt. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> no, you can't I... sing the third time, you'll summon him. <laughs> you can't huh? meow the third time, you'll summon him. <laughs> Ryan. Wow. <laughs> shit. Ryan. He's, just, he's gonna show up <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, <laughs> Told you. <laughs> <laughs> um, can, can I? Can you make my pike burn too? Yeah, do you hand him the pike so that he yeah. can examine it? Yeah, it's been my family for a very long time. I think I can make a couple improvements on here that'll give you an extra zing. And then uh, Barata, he takes a look at your battle axe. He's like, uh, "This is a fine piece of work. Uh, I don't Thank know if there's too much. much that I could do to it, like." Well, what what would you want added? I want it to be more dangerous. Thanks, character. More yeah. deadly. More, more violent. Hey, Thanks hey, for thank the bits. The... <laughs> <laughs> you say that so angry. Yeah, the... thank Thanks for the, for the bits. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> Brad Weasel had a question. What are the DM powers, by the way, when someone donates $50? That is, uh, one of us players, you would give us DM powers, and for one full minute, we get to take over the story, and whatever we say goes. Yep. yep. And then Kenny, and then Connie cries. And Connie cries. And Kenny yeah. cries too. Kenny, Kenny cries. cries. Right he just cries somewhere else. Kenny and Connie cry. Yeah, yeah. Kenny just cries from at home somewhere. Wee <laughs> wee. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, so um, you want your battle axe uh, improved upon, and then yes, your please. pike. Uh, what about you, horned one? <laughs> Uh, -huh. uh, uh, can so I have light armor? If you could improve my armor, that would be awesome. Make it a little bit more sturdy, maybe. Hmm. That's boring. If you don't mind parting with it for a couple hours, I mean, this is a pretty tall order. So, uh, I mean, I got one other boy in the back that could be working on this, but we're we're looking at about maybe 
two hours worth of work. It depends on what what you want there too, uh, Mister. Uh, and he looks at you, uh, Colra, fellow dwarven. Colra, you want to help? Colra, <laughs> I like that name. I know. Oh, thank you for the sub. Thanks, character. Thanks, character. Thank you. Um, just so you know, Ryan would get it done a lot faster. <laughs> it, it sounds like uh, you could use a Ryan right now, but you I'm don't saying. have one. I'm just. We saying. don't have one. Eat well, not again, if we again, again. Have one. That is a bull face lie. Ryan. You know he will. Oh. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, you summon him. Hey, Mr. Uh, what's your name again? Cole. Cole Raw. I like it. That's me. What's your name? Yeah. <laughs> well, well what'd you want worked on there? I see you got uh, some sort of action. <laughs> All right, then. Good talk. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Can you do anything with the magic staff or just the mace? Uh, I I mostly just work on the uh, the weapons or like the armor. Here's my mace. I mean, make well, it well, more. Well, would you like that? Make it more macy. Mm. Like the Thanksgiving yes. Day parade. Yes. Uh, like a big balloon think... that flies overhead. Yeah. I Mace. think one Just of the like boys that. has got a got an eye for this thing. I'll let him handle this one. But yeah, I think uh, we could get this all done pretty fast in, in about two hours. I'll get my boy started working on it in the back. Hoorah! We got some work to do. Uh, you see also, the other dwarven. Can you call character. my name again. So just to pause real quick, we have another person who just what he said. Uh, what David Edwards came in and said, "When the Sesame Street is this awesomeness." Hi. Thank you Hi. for the follow. Oh, hey, thank you. Hey. And we oh, were... I wish it was Sesame oh. Street. I'd get I paid money. I, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I, I, don't think I would get evicted Street. very quickly on Sesame Street because my yeah. favorite <laughs> word is not welcome there. No, nah, they <laughs> oh, might no. replace you with Oscar. That's fair. But he already lives pretty there. Grouchy. I meant the other way around. Strike that. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll kill him. I'll take his trash can. Let's go. Oh, no. I'm in with Wormy. Oh, jeez. All right, so uh, you hand uh, Cole all of your items for him to work on, as well as hoo in the back. Hoo-ha. Cole, all right, so you guys have got two hours to kill in town before you take off. Uh, we go back well, to the bar! Back to the bar! You drink it! Bar! Bar! Uh, says, uh, Nish, Nish, uh, felt a friend joke. Uh, wait, this isn't a Wilkins Coffee commercial. <laughs> Ah. This is like what? It's like way inside baseball. We 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 need more explosions at Perception uh-huh. Studio so that we can properly. <gasps> do things. I have an idea. Like okay. actual explosions? Oh, no. Yeah, girl. No, like, no. I have an boom, idea. Boom. Let me hear you say whale. 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 Holy hell, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your All buddy right. is so fine. Back in the bubbling cauldron, uh, waiting for your armaments and weapons to be improved upon. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Just hearing Ryan cackling in the background. Is that what I'm seeing? Call me. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my face palm counter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are waiting in the bar for two hours until oh, your yeah. uh, stuff is done. I mean, if All we right, got a three-hour ride, we're going to drink. A three-hour mm-hmm. ride. Wasted. I mean, you guys do have the coinage now, so, uh, so you is order. Like playing... hmm? Lumi is Orange playing like, in, the, in, the, in the corner to like just also be getting money slowly as we're drinking. And just like, she's just playing. Oh, free drinks. The... Yeah. Oh, orange whip. Orange whip. Yeah, play for drinks. Orange whip. Uh, three orange, orange whips. So, yep. You know what? I'm gonna Whatever roll and said. see how many drinks you get. You get two. You get two drinks out of your. Uh, is it a pan flute? So I have a pan flute, and I also have a lute. Ooh, Ooh, which one a flute. I play? So let's do the pan flute. Let's do the pan. Flute. Okay. So as you're playing a jaunty little tune on your plan. 
pan flute do, 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 uh, <laughs> to two uh, fellow bar goers end up buying you a round of drinks get so it. you get a uh, 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 for the yes. orange whip joke thank you orange whip cool whip no no, no. okay no orange whip no. cool whip all right so how many drinks are you guys ordering in two Whoa, hours wow weasel thank you for the donation 25 dollars oh, now that can Hooray! be a character in your description that can be an enemy or an ally or uh, whatever you want them to be or you can break you that can down into blessings for the players, phone. or rerolls, DM rerolls, any combination of those. Yep. And we almost did a giveaway, doing? right? We're almost to the giveaway. Two hundred, we'll be giving away a fifty-dollar Wormwood oh, yeah. gift card. Wormwood. Yeah, fifty more dollars, and then we're at the giveaway and another Wormer. part song. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Wait, all who right. sings Three. the part song? Hmm? We all do. Mm -hmm. We all do. Oh, okay. Mm. We all $300 do. is Ryan's bard song. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Plaid Weasel, you can just send it in the chat. Yeah, just in the chat. Yeah, whatever you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so while we wait for that, who's ordering drinks? I, I, yeah. I want to take my orange it whip that, that Cucumber offered me. Okay. And then, and then, and, and then, uh, and the, uh, 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 a triple glass of red wine. A triple glass of red wine. They oh, just basically oh, wow. kind of bring you like, <laughs> yeah, a large like rounded barrel like tankard that has a handle on it that's just sure. filled to the top with, like a red no, no, wine. No, no, no. <laughs> I want a, a very large glass because it needs to glass because I need to like swirl it around and aerate it. So I need like a like a big um like the a big uh, glass chalice. Just looks at you, slides back the large barrel mug pulls out a stemmed glass, sloshes it into the glass, just spills everywhere, not breaking eye contact, and then slides <laughs> the glass towards you. Where you just give me a regular size glass? It's just a regular size glass! Oh, okay. <laughs> you gotta teach me to speak up. I would like a blackberry mead, but only from someone named Chris. <laughs> 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 you, you hear in the in the back all of a sudden the the chef pops out pops his head out from the back and he has this viking type haircut dark Ryan? brown hair and Ryan? green eyes and like it, mead i heard somebody call for mead right i would like blackberry mead but only from somebody named chris <laughs> Well, it just so happens to be that I'm named Chris. And I'm the, me. One, I'm the one that's in charge in the back. That's so convenient. convenient. That's so convenient. All right, Blackberry Mead, you got it. He disappears behind behind the door again, and it just kind of... I think he's going to go kill a guy for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when he comes right, back, Colorado, I Colorado, ordered this thing. <laughs> I Colorado. said when he comes back, I will order this. I say another one for me. I hear it is good. He, uh, at that moment, uh, he comes out with just two large bottles of blueberry mead, and he just kind of, just regular size uh, bottles, plops them both on the table. It's like, for you guys, I, I hear you're helping out. Oh, I didn't even card us, dude. Help, help. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, these great. are on the house. Nice. Aww. Can you roll for hotness? Roll for hotness. I, yes. run, I run to the top of the house. I run outside. I climb up the roof, and I go, "What is he talking about? There's no, there's no drinks in the house. There's no oh drinks." God. <laughs> Roll me an acrobatics check. Plaid weasel will get that one. Plaid weasel will get that one. Yeah. Oh, acrobatics check. Oh. Acrobatics check. Ah. Uh, so Chris, 16. the chef in the back, is a six. Sixteen. So you actually are able to shimmy up the what would be drain pipe and get on the first level, uh, <laughs> the awning into the inn, but not into the second level because that's where all the rooms are. So you just get up on top of the awning of the inn and you look around. Yeah, I don't that? see anything up here. <laughs> I go no, back down. I go back inside. A, a description for Plan Weasel's character. Oh, yeah. okay. A gnome druid oh, okay. named Plaid, who has a weasel as his animal friend, and he is a friendly fellow. 
He has a thick Barovian accent and likes playing card games. Secretly, he owns a 10 card deck of many things. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Owns a 10, 10 card what deck is, of many things. What is a Barovian accent? What does that sound like? It's, it's like, like, you're, you're, you're somebody from Barovia. From Barovia. Yeah, from Barovia. Is that a yeah. Barovian accent? Was it? Bleh. 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 Is it more it's straw? Ryan, kind of? Yeah. Ryan, can you from... demonstrate the Barovian accent, please? Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, 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 do it. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Now, do the Barovian accent. I'm from Barovia. Okay, I am from Barovia. Well, see you later. Okay. All right, yeah. Wait, no, no, no. Not do the Trade Federation accent. Yeah. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> yeah, do that one next. <laughs> All right, so uh, the druid it. shows up. Yay, yes. Actually, he's gonna do the ventilator shaft. That was really good. <laughs> What? That's good. That's really good. I, I, I hate it. I hate it so much that I just, you know, learned to imitate it. I hate that line so much. Oh, oh no. Um. All right. So as Thruff cr crawls down from the awning outside of the the inn, notices a, uh, a pelted. Uh, Humanoid Friend. druid with a little weasel sitting on top of his shoulder, her shoulder, Th their shoulder. We'll go they. Uh, uh, kind of oh, as wanders, in, wanders in, not he? really sure uh, uh, of what to do, a, looking a little bit anxious uh, with the current layout of what's happening and as Thruff drops down from the awning kind of huh, uh, spooks plaid oh, hey. Uh, hey buddy oh, oh uh, so you see you look a little you look a little lost are you new here yeah well y yeah uh, how, how could you tell I'm new in town yeah cuz I said you look oh, you sound very Barovian yeah yeah but, uh, are uh, you Barovian. from Barovia the Dude, I giving it away. I'm on vacation over here for for a little bit, just until for a little bit. Come on in, There's have a drink with us. Story, right, please, please join what? us. This is a what? friendly the place. Backstory. What? Oh, oh. There's, there's just... more to the backstory. Oh. There's more oh? to the backstory. Oh what, what, what's the He's backstory? also got an empty wallet, and he has ten cards left. He had fifteen cards and five friends. Now he has ten. And then one, two, three spell slots. Ah, ah, ah. I'm just reading more. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So three, three spell slots, and then ten card mini deck thing that he it's lost. The most five thorough five character minutes. drop we've ever gotten. Good grief! Yeah, good. yeah. this is really well thought out. Well What's uh, did you roll for hotness on Chris, the bartender? Yes, by the way? six. Six. Mm -hmm. Okay, roll for hotness on on this one. On plan. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Oh, plan. That's right, plan. Oh, oh uh, with, with Thruff bringing like a new friend over, bringing Plaid over, uh, I want to mm -hmm. order two hot ciders, one for me, one for him, one for Plaid. Here, have a, have a nice mm. hot cider. Oh, oh, th thank you. Here, um, give us a little sip to thank the weasel. You. Weasel just kind of looking at you like, I don't know if you're to be trusted. Uh, Doesn't break eye contact as it drinks the apple cider. The weasel looks like the most delicious morsel in the world to Brata, and he's doing uh -oh. everything in his power to not immediately pounce and eat the weasel. <laughs> oh god. Roll me a constitution check oh, to no. keep your feline tendencies in check. 23. Oh good. You're, you're you're able to control yourself, but you feel that urge rising up, and you're like, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, that's a pet. That's a pet. <laughs> so, uh, Plaid, the, with his little weasel companion, come comes and sits down at a table near Nimia to drink the hot apple cider and to enjoy the the pan flute. And the weasel scurries down off to the table and starts drinking out of his little cup. Hmm. I can't uh, take my eyes off of the weasel. <laughs> oh no! Just keep uh -oh. looking at him. 
There's like a big catty smile, like a Cheshire cat grin on my face as I watch him, just trying to control myself. As the weasel is drinking, the hot apple cider just notices you and just... Hello, little friend. Uh, He just kind of gives you like a little... Yes, yes, yes. You're you're, you're right? I'm I'm fine. I am just watching our new little friend. I'm, I'm gonna have to ask you to go get three steps back. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I, I, I appreciate the drinks very, very much. So I just, I, I'm a little out of sorts in this. Oh, this, this perpetual winter thing is kind of messing me up in my sleep cycle. So I'm a little discombobulated uh, ever yeah. since coming here. I've only been here about a couple weeks, though. Still getting used to the cold weather and such. Yes, it never goes away. That's what I've been hearing. It sounds like there's some sort of deity keeping everyone here in this perpetual winter, and that's why the sun never rises? It is it's what I'm kind of putting together? Someone whose name sounds like Ariola, but is not Ariola. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what about Dugan Paul? So, at, at that point, you see uh, Herna actually come into the bar, and she's like, Ah! Friends! I see you went and visited the shop. Uh, Cole sent me. Your stuff is ready. Excellent. Okay, I cannot wait to see my mace. I down the rest of my maid, and I start ah. marching out to get a peek at my axe. Uh, as, as Plaid hears this, he kind of looks around at you guys kind of getting up, getting ready to leave and say, oh, come along, oh, oh. come along, come, 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 come. Oh, oh, oh. Keep in oh. mind, this is a giant minotaur with a little pan flu going, come, come, you're going with us now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that just bought them a drink. So it's like, yeah. oh, oh, come are along, you sure you have enough room? Come, come it's along, just... come, 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 come. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. Come along. Yes, it is fine. Plenty of room yeah. in the wagon yeah. for all. Yeah, just, oh, just uh, don't, don't, sit, don't sit close to this one over here. Yeah. Oh. No reason, no reason, no reason. Yeah. Okay. Don't sit. Don't sit. Weasel so crawls back up around the neck and kind of perches itself <laughs> up up on the shoulder, sitting there like a little like a little scarf. Um, <laughs> uh, so you guys uh, go back to the blacksmith and you see uh, Cole... Uh, working on the the anvil, hitting the pike, working on Thruff's pike, and mm. he notices you guys pull up. He's like, "Ah, friends, come in. Just finishing You're done? up." You're done. And holds out the the newly formed pike. So before you had one kind of spear tip on the end of your pike, you now have two extra prongs that stick out and kind of curve up. So mm. it's not quite it? a trident. Not, not quite a trident, so it's no. just more like a, a hilt, but it still can do uh, damage because right it comes up to a point. Mm-hmm. Eh. Mm-hmm. It's not a Pike. trident. Trident. I said whatever. a trident. Ah, a trident. Aha, uh, got three points. Uh, uh, Thruff, your pike now does an additional two piercing damage. Sweet. Because of the newly added prongs added to it. Uh, Nimia, your light armor has been upgraded, so you get a plus one on your armor. Ooh. Uh, The mace for Kolra uh, also has a plus two as Hoorah uh, added a ton more extra spikes of varying size on the mace. So now you get a couple large spikes sticking out, but then you get uh, some medium-sized ones in there as well. So you get a plus two. Thanks for the cheers, they better. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I was looking at you. I was going to say cheers. Thank you. Thank you. And then, uh, Brata, on your battle axe, yeah. he's sharpened the edges uh, oh. to where it's a little more slicey than normally. He's like, for you, I got something <laughs> special. He whips out uh, just like a small strip of leather, and he's like, watch this. He... He's kind of like whips the leather onto like the blade end of the 
of the battle axe and <laughs> as it just makes contact it like breaks apart and splits it right down the middle so he's has sharpened it to all hell uh it now has a plus one but if you wield it with two hands it gets a plus two okay how do i so the uh, this, uh, this is something I'm bad at. So that plus one, is that to hit and the damage or just to hit or? Yes, plus one to hit and mm -hmm. to damage. But if you're wielding it with both hands, it's a plus two. I see. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Connie. Also, we have mm -hmm. a note that Plaid's weasel digs through his backpack and dons a tiny top hat, sniffs and cuddles into Plaid. <laughs> <laughs> the weasel you were wondering. The top hat, I love it. As, as you guys are all getting your stuff back from the blacksmith, uh, you turn around and you notice that Plaid's just kind of sitting there wa watching everything happen. And all of a sudden, the weasel disappears from the shoulder, goes into the knapsack in the back. You, you kind of hear it shuffling around and then boop, just reappears with a tiny little top hat and a blue ribbon wrapped around it. Yo. So we got a fancy weasel. All right, and you guys now have your stuff back with your new pluses. Yeah. Y'all are ready to head off to Dugan's Hall. Yeah. Woo! Where we will pick up next time. Oh! Not to the hole. D&D. <laughs> Well, oh, with consent, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out. Thank you for your donations. Those allow us to uh, keep the studio going. Let's just keep on moving and improving yeah. and doing all that good stuff. Yeah, it's such a great studio. Sponsors. Yeah. That was nice, right? <laughs> I know. It's yeah. Studio. Hey, for for those of you new people who just joined us today, we do have a studio. We studio out of Southern. Uh, we have studio out of Southern. We stream we in a studio, studio in Southern California with our friends. A few of our friends for calling in from all over the place. Uh, so yeah, so your, your donations go back to paying for rent and for electricity and for things like that. So we can keep doing shows. And if you're new, Internet. check out our schedule. Cause we have a lot, we do like 10 streams a week Yeah. and all kinds yeah. of different shows. We got chat time tomorrow. Chat time tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Join then the Friday, drawer. Exaster Debaters and Trasterpiece Theater. Trasterpiece mm -hmm. Theater. And then, and then we got all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Join, join, join the Discord. Stuff. You'll see the schedule and just pop in for shows, even if you don't understand the name, because they're all yeah. they're all fun. They're all fun. Yes. <laughs> if you have questions, Says me. join the Discord. Part of them. <laughs> and you know what? You can you can also if any if if, if you can do the Patreon thing. You're okay. Uh, if if oh, you saw it tonight, if you think it's worth about a dollar, uh, feel free to join our Patreon. We've got some exclusive content <clears> coming down the <throat> pipe that way, uh, as well as some early release content. And if you're at tier three or above, you'll get an exclusive pin over there uh, for your <clears> help. Right. Can I have a pin? <clears throat> Good time for. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> right. Here. Some initiative. What? Initiative, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, do it? But where are we? There we go. Oh, oh look at yeah. that. Look at that. Uh, so as we're hey, rolling, uh, uh, so, uh, Patreon producers are tier four. Option to lead is currently our only one. And a special shout out to our, uh, shout out to our felted family and friends. This is going to be uh, tiers two and three uh, down yeah. there. So look at all these beautiful oh. names. Uh, yeah, now, I like uh, that. Ryan found more than, than earlier today. Oh, look at that. Chevelle, uh, hi there, Nexus Look at all these uh, beautiful we, are, we prefer the term felted friends over here, but welcome, welcome. Um, so I think I'm too drunk, but they're they're uh, these guys are playing DD. Yeah, that's us. Hi, hi. Yeah, yeah. we're here. Hello, Corey, you're on there. Well, Corey you made it. Yeah. Woo -woo, Yay! Thanks for giving us your money. Oh, look, the, the invisible man is somewhere between Cactuar and Heather yeah. Carota. <laughs> yeah. Rocket four three. Woo, wow. Hey, problem one. Three. Oh, off. it's just gonna start again. Gonna oh, it's over. Yeah. Okay, just well, you know get into those name. names, everybody. <laughs> you just enjoy them. <laughs> uh, as always, we're gonna pay the love forward with a little bit of raid. Uh, and if you'd like to see, yeah, if you'd like to see your name in those credits, uh, that's gonna be uh, tier tier two and above. Uh, we'd appreciate it over the yeah. Uh But any hoozle, thanks everybody for being here. Thanks for spending your time with us. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the next thing. Who are we raiding? Ooh, in quest of geek, raiding. our wonderful Ooh, friends. Wee! Uh, wee! Give them all the love. Wee! Um, wee! Wee! Yeah, and we'll see, see you guys waiting. tomorrow bright and early for chat time. Well, you won't see yeah. me because I'm not here, but you'll see uh, Chunk, and you'll probably see Brian, and you'll see our friend Ian Jenkins. Hey, you want to be on tomorrow? <laughs> no. 
I got I guess you'll see Chunk. I'll see Chunk. Good luck. <laughs> Just line. Chunk. Good luck. Oh, he's over there. All right. Well, I think we're ready to raid. So, uh, again, thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming. Hopefully, we'll see you all again. Yeah, I'm going to probably yeah. do it anyway. Oh, shit, I guess oh, we're bye. Yeah, bye, I guess. Oh, oh, we're bye. Bye. Again. No, oh, we're ready. Good thing bye. I didn't leave. Bye. 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 -bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.